Hi, everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich. And here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage everything? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc, to have short shifts. You can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game, but that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. The Golden Knights are a veteran club, and they have been in these situations before many a times. There are no excuses. Everybody's got back-to-backs on their schedule. These second games and back-to-backs are difficult, but you got to gut it out and find a way to win this game. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Last game was not one of his best, that's for sure. But he'll look to rebound here tonight. Olvers, the man getting the nod tonight, has roughed up the crease, ready to begin the evening of facing rubber for the visitors. The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. McDavid sent to the big center ice circle for Edmonton. Wandell's his opposite number for the Golden Knights. Right in front. Score! They strike early and quiet the crowd. 33, Hawk ends up out of the zone, so they must recoil. Moving it to Carstens. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Couldn't retain possession. Perfect receipt of the pass. Wonderful stop. Vegas doesn't have to look too far to wonder where their offense is going to come from. Probably from one of the highest goal scorers in the league. They get him the puck in the shooting area. He's able to finish it unlike very few in the league.